One of the challenges we face in the Public Relations Department is explaining to folks who are new to the Catawba College community the significance of the lantern which is used in our college logo. What most people don't realize is that this symbol has been around our campus, indeed on many campuses all over the world, for quite a long time. Traditionally, the lantern has served as a container to hold and protect light while it is being carried into darkness. A college also serves as a similar container, holding education or learning that provides illumination or light into the dark world of ignorance. Around our campus, you'll see lanterns which are very similar to the lantern used in the college logo, serving as street lights and entrance lights. These physical lanterns reinforce the symbolic lantern used in our logo, and together they create a motif which is recognizable to all of us who are part of this college. A line in our alma mater refers to Catawba as Queen of Light, and with all the lanterns about, you'd do well to believe this about the college. In the 1964 edition of the college yearbook, The Siocony, light was a theme used throughout the publication, dividing the various sections of the book. There was the light of guidance provided by the faculty and staff of Catawba, the light of knowledge pursued by all the students, the light of participation signified by the student participation in on-campus clubs and organizations, the light of recognition gained by students achieving on-campus laurels and superlatives, the light of sportsmanship achieved by athletes on the playing field, and even the light of patronage shed by those advertisers who supported the yearbook effort. All of these different sorts of light are held or contained within the lantern of the college. So when you see the lantern around our campus, or even used within the logo on the college letterhead, remember it as the symbol for our institution, which is truly a queen of light.